Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, you know, there, there are more than one way uh, to say you are welcome. You can verbalize it, but do you actualize it? Do you visibly look at the symbols that show respect to the various communities that make up the city of New York? This is a city of not only a people who have generations, but a city of those who come here from various islands, various countries, to state that they want to make New York City their home. And when we raise the flag here at Bowling Green, the cornerstone of our financial strength and power, we are saying to you that we respect you, we, we see you, and you are contributors to this amazing city we call New York. I remember clearly during COVID, when people were social distancing and staying at home and uh, did not want to come out. It was the emerging immigrant populations that kept this city running. Immigrants don't new, need New York. New York needs the immigrant communities of this city. And no one personifies that more than St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When I was in St. Vincent and when I was in Gran uh, Grenada um, up at Annandale's Falls and Grand Am Beach and just looking at the energy of our Caribbean diaspora is a contribution to this great country and particularly this great city and all of it ends and start in the borough of Brooklyn. <laughs> that is the Mecca in the homeland. And you have displayed a level of resiliency. And just having you here today, I was so proud to see uh, at our flag raising when you have the ambassador, uh, Luann Gilchrist and Dennis Francis. We want to thank you for being here and what it means to be right here in the capital of the St. Vincent community right here in the city of New York. We also want to thank the general, council general uh, that's here, Rondé McIntosh, as well as my commissioners, Com Commissioner Mermerstein and uh, my Commissioner of Mayor Office of Immigrant Affairs, a dreamer, came to America from Mexico with his, as a child with his uh, parents and went through the system and now he is the Commissioner of the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs. That says a lot about our city. But St. Vincent is so resilient. Uh, you have preserved through difficult times, including hurricanes, uh, volcanoes, eruptions. You always find a way of just infusing the energy that's needed to state that nothing can keep you back. And as a resilient people in a resilient country, you have brought that resiliency here to the shores of America. And your warm welcome, your spirit of engagement and encounter with people from Kingstown Harbor to the bays that surrounds the island to the beaches and to United Island, you have all that it takes to state you're bringing that here to this great city and great country. I am proud, proud for the first time to raise your flag here at Bowling Green. And it's going to be one of many times. It is a day of rem remembrance and a day of acknowledgement and it's a day of lifting up the spirit of our city. Let's be clear. New York City is not coming back. New York City is back. And we're back because of you. Let's celebrate. And so before raising the flag, I got to get the traditional head tie. <laughs> come on, come and show me how to do it right. <laughs> come on, man. See, you take one end. Right. And you take the other end. All the way. All the way. All the way. Which way? Which way? Which way? Yeah, you can have him. You can have you. Don't worry. He'll get it. <laughs> we'll put some Vinci in him today. He'll get it. <laughs> All right. That's it. Yeah.
So the proclamation, whereas Caribbean Americans have long strengthened the five boroughs and they will continue to play a key role as we take bold steps to recover from COVID-19 pandemic, grow our economy and build a safer, fairer, more prosperous future for all. At today's ceremony in Manhattan, historic Bowling Green Park, uh, Vincent, Vincentinians? Vincentian. Vincent, Vincent, New York will commemorate the independence of St. Vincent and the Grenadines by raising his blue, gold, and green flag, which will fly proudly next to the American flag. Today's event is also a wonderful occasion to celebrate the rich heritage of this vital community in our enduring friendship with their homeland. I look forward to the many ways everyone gathered will further invigorate New York as we unite to rebuild, renew, and reinvent. Now, therefore, I, Eric Adams, Mayor of the City of New York, proclaim October 27th, 2022, in the City of New York, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Heritage Day. Woo!